This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here, Tim. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC walkaweight division. Introduce the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, my fight. Success. I want to see how this plays out. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Good stick. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he caught the kick. 
beautiful leg kick throw. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Head kick. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Leg kick. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Huh. You are battering that dude. Loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, that's a nice strike. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big head kick. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Straight right hand, no good. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. Landed that massive shot. Now he's trying to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though. You so. got to drive his chin and the body with that body kick. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee with the body. Dig and kick. Single collar tie now. Came from inches right Damn there, boy. Man. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Goes back to that left kick once again. 15 seconds. Relax, relax. Keep your hands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Big right hand, Where yes. No, 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 no. Take a seat, bro. Listen, I need you to stay a little bit more active, a little bit more moving. Keep that head moving. You need to get behind that jab. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Round two underway. Big punch land. Ooh. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs 
to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, he hurt it bad with a jab. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Lee. Liver kick. Wow. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh! Oh, nice knee. An uppercut there. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Big knee! Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, nice. and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want to. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And his hurt is very bad. Lee gets oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, oh. Oh, is that a big knee? The body will see if he can follow up. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! And he switches his stance yet again. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Catch a body kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. The next with a right. Back to the feet now. Nice straight punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Got a single auto tie. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches in the head. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now. Good defense to block the strike coming back. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Kick blocked by Lee. Can't take many of those, you better check. Whoa! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Beautiful move. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Continues to work the body here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Oh, big diving punch to the head. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the point of the face, and then just start to work, make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound for very patient ground and pound for such a dominant position. Under three minutes remain in round three. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pass for this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time he can drive his chin into his opponent. He's throwing every part of himself into these big legs. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt fast. Something about oh! big diving punch land. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pretty bad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Great punch landed with so much power. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Nice leg kick. Back to the feet. strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming so 
Just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number three. Going to win by knockout. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.